Hey, how y'all doing? Scott Walters here with the Bulletproof Garage, and today we are going to check the 7.3 liter diesel engine block for cracks. And we're going to use a non-destructive testing method, specifically magnetic particle inspection, otherwise known as Magnaflux. So let's get started. Okay, this is a pretty simple test. All you need is a yoke and some powder, all right? So this particular yoke is a Model Y1, as in Yankee one. It's made by Magnaflux. So Magnaflux is not the name of the process. Magnaflux is the name of the manufacturer. All right, a new one's gonna set you back about 500 bucks, but a used one like this one set me back 200 bucks, all right? So well worth the money and it has paid for itself already. In addition to that, you're going to need some magnetic powder, all right? I got some red powder, so it shows up well against cast iron, and you're gonna need something to shake the powder out with. This guy here is like a salt shaker, and uh, you just fill it up with, with powder and shake it out. Okay, before we magnetize anything, let's talk about the areas that we're going to focus on. Area number one is anything that has a hole in it, all right? And I'm talking about these holes, all right? So you've got head bolt holes, you've got holes for coolant all over the deck. And those are potentially weak areas where a crack could start, all right? Now, where else do we want to check? Also areas that are prone to cracking if your block freezes. Let me show you what I'm talking about here, okay? So, these are core plugs or freeze plugs, okay? So they are there because this block is sand cast. And after it's cast, the sand needs to come out of the block and it comes out through these holes right here, okay? Now these are also freeze plugs because in a perfect world, if your block freezes, all right, if your coolant freezes, then, or the water that's in there freezes, then hopefully the freeze plugs will pop out before your block cracks. That doesn't always happen. So this area in here, all right, there's a water jacket underneath and that is prone to cracking. Obviously your freeze plugs are also a hole in the block. So you wanna check those areas as well. All right, and again, any other area where you've got a hole is something you wanna focus on for your magnetic particle inspection. Another area to focus on is this area right here, all right, in the lifter valley. Again, what we have here, we don't have any holes. Well, you've got the, the lifter bores right here, all right, but you've got this area right here, all right, that is a coolant passage behind this area here, all right, so that is prone to buckling and cracking, so make sure you check that as well. Okay, the process from here is pretty simple. You want to go ahead and sprinkle out your powder. Make sure you coat the surface that you're going to test fairly well. Once you've got it coated, you want to go ahead and magnetize. You place the yoke on the surface pull the trigger and should be able to see how the particles sort of stand up on end, all right? Now, if there's a crack somewhere, the particles will head towards that crack. So it'll show up darker. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna test and then you want to rotate 90 degrees and test again. Now, why are you doing that? Because a crack that is in the same plane as your yoke is not going to show up well, all right? So you want to go ahead and again, you want to test, rotate, test, all right? So that cylinder looks good. So you keep on going, test, rotate, test. Test, rotate, test. Test. 
And I suppose it should be obvious that this is a very clean block, okay? The block has been cleaned and it's been degreased. A greasy block and or a dirty block will not work for Magnaflux because the particles are just going to stick to the grease and grime, right? So make sure you're starting with a clean and dry and degreased block. All right, so that's good. Now we're going to test the lifter valley. Okay, same deal here. Now I should have mentioned, um, I'm not expecting to see any cracks here, but <laughs> this particular engine has surprised me already with that because I found a crack in one of the cylinder heads that I wasn't expecting. Uh, whatever the case, um, this engine was running when I bought it and there was no coolant in the oil and there was no oil in the coolant, at least none that I could see. All right, folks, let's do a close up on that crack. You can see it right here already. And once I magnetize it, yeah, it just brings the particles into the crack. All right, so you can see the crack here is in the seat on into the cylinder head and it stops at about this area. 
So that's bad news. Okay, that is it for this episode. I'm happy to report positive results, all right? We've got no cracks in the engine block, at least none that I could detect. So that's a rare bit of good news for this project, all right? So be sure and check back for more videos on old Project Brutus and on the build for this engine. This is a 7.3 IDI turbo diesel build. We're hoping for 550 foot-pounds of torque at the rear wheels, all right? That's going to take a little work to get there but cross your fingers. Okay, now in between episodes, you can always find me on social media. I'm on Instagram at the.bulletproof.garage and on Facebook at the Bulletproof Garage. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on the Bulletproof Garage.